that? Good actually. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're headed to um, a Kopitiam, one of the most popular ones called B B Way B Y. B Wa, I think it's how it's pronounced. B Wa Cafe. Cafe. Yeah. And what a Kopitiam is is basically a coffee shop. So we're really excited to see what um, they have to offer in terms of food. We're supposed to head to a morning market, but uh, we're up late editing. Yeah. So we'll have to check out one tomorrow. Yeah, because it's already 11:45, and I think they close at 12. So basically where we're heading to now is a coffee shop that a lot of locals go to, the Coffee Tiam, I think is how it's pronounced. So that's where locals usually go for breakfast. So let's check it out. So this one we headed to is about a, a 13 minute walk from our hotel and about a three minute walk from the morning market. So maybe if a few more stalls open, like fruit stalls, we'll be able to get some fruits to bring back to our hotel because we just want to explore that area while we're there, probably get some fruits and get some water come back to the hotel I have to do some work there I have to do some editing and then we'll probably head out to a night market since we didn't catch one yesterday but this is our first full day in Penang we got here yesterday evening so we're excited to see how today goes but it looked like it's about to rain so let's hurry up get there eat some food and head back and just a bit too slow. <laughs> literally just as we said it it started raining yeah so let me show you all how hard it rained right now you can't really see it but you can hear it um, we may get a grab to take a sale. You want to do that? Um, it should only be about five ringgit, which is about a dollar. So let's probably catch a grab there and then try to walk back if it's not raining anymore. So we finally made it to Beho Cafe yeah. and we ordered coffee ice, which is basically iced coffee. I got a lemonade. Yeah, a lemonade. He said it's with the local lemons. Mm -hmm. And then we got a curry soup noodle and chakwe chakwe teo. Yeah, that's more like a noodle dish with have prawns and I think other seafood in it. Mm -hmm. I saw the imitation crab in it. So really excited to try it. The prices were... I think it's a six fifty ring it. Six fifty for all the soup dishes. Mm -hmm. And I think he said seven, seven for the fried rice. For the fried rice and like I think the noodle dish the the non soup dishes. Yeah. Yeah, so we're pretty excited. We'll show you when the food comes out. Yeah, the curry the curry soup noodle, he really yeah. recommend, he, recommend he highly it. recommend it. Because we're gonna get something else. Yeah. I think it was like the um soup prawns prawn soup noodle prawn or something like that. Yeah. We're gonna he, get that but he he, he recommended, recommended the curry, curry soup noodle yeah. instead. Yeah, so we'll show you all it when it comes out. Yeah, really excited. Really excited to try it. Yeah, me too. Um, the drive here was only five, about five minutes, mm -hmm. because there's a lot of one-way streets here. It would have been quicker, but because it's a lot of one-way street, they kind of have to go around. Yeah. And we had a really good driver. He gave us a lot of recommendations and told us like where to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But so far, so good. We see a lot of um, like Chinese um, restaurants and buildings, mm -hmm. because like we said, it's um. Malay, Chinese, and Indian population. Yeah. So we'll get the variety of all. We're pretty excited. He also recommended an Indian spot for us to try. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It tastes funny. It don't taste like citrus at all. Um, I know the taste, but I can't remember the name of it. It was like one of them um, lychee candy. 
Oh, I see what you mean. So it's not like a sour lemon. It's more like it's more sweet. With it have the the essence of lemon, but not like the sourness of a lemon. They just brought the food out and then she brought some chili paste and she put it on the side because she didn't know how much spice we could take so she just said to add it as you need it and um, everything looks pretty good so far. Okay, so he said to try it without the chili and then we can try it with the chili paste. It's good. It tastes like um how um Thai Thai curry the taste. Mm. Yeah. Similar to like a Thai curry, so like a, a, nice a curry, curry with um coconut milk. Tastes really good. Let's, let me put it on you so they can see. You try it all. Um, mm-hmm. Mm. Let's try it with the pepper. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay. So he said to mix it until it becomes like a red color. Mm -hmm. This isn't that pepper, so no. let's put it down so y'all can see. So he opened us to it correctly, which we love. Ah, okay. So I have to add more until it becomes like a red color. Yeah. Also, kind of more. It's kind of like a um, a Thai curry for real. Yeah. It the tastes like it, and it look like it. Yeah, the chili is in that pepper. No. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Inside this, I think uh, this is a fish cake. Uh huh. You have shrimp. Um. Boiled egg. Boiled egg. Is this? Oh. I think a fish ball. That's another like a fish ball. And then uh, crab. Yeah the noodles and then uh, mint and um, bean sprouts okay so yeah you'll see the color change a lot now mm -hmm. it's a good thing you tell us how much to put because you know sometimes you don't know how it's traditionally eaten so it looks really good just get a last bit of curry paste out of here Nice. Let me try it now. Oh yeah, it changed the taste. Nice. Mm -hmm. It's like a heat that's not like on your tongue. It's more like at the back of your throat. Yeah. The flavor is really strong and rich. Yeah. Lots of uh, depth to it. Yeah, Car I can taste the mint too. The curry is really, really nice. Yeah. So, okay, excited to dig in. How that one taste? And then this let me one. try this one. Okay, so this one has um, shrimp in it. Look like some more the, um, what's it called? Fish ball. Fish ball. And then an imitation um, crab. And I think that's Chinese chives. Ah. So let's see. It's, it has noodles and um, bean sprouts as well. Mmm. Tastes like a pad thai. This is mm -hmm. like pad thai and it tastes like a, um, a Thai curry. Mm -hmm. This noodle is really good. Cook perfect. Really good. The fish balls is good. Everything goes. Everything pairs well together. Uh huh. Oh, I think this tofu. Let me mm. see. Good, babe. Good. Oh. Yeah. This is definitely tofu. I thought it was like a, another fried fish cake, uh -huh. but it's fried tofu. This is good. And you know, tofu doesn't really have a taste of its own, so anything you put it in. It absorbs it the flavor yeah. and it takes seasoning really well. This has a little bit of heat to it too, the same way, where it's like more of like the back of your throat heat and not on your tongue. Which I like because it doesn't take away from the taste. Sometimes, like when something too hot on your tongue, you can't taste the food. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Yeah, just slop it. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Shook. Sensational. So this is recommended as um one of the top rated um 
Kopi to Yam, so come to. We wanted to try it all, but we might have to come back here for some more. <laughs> Can we try the noodles in that? Taste a piece of this crab. Um, it's not as sweet. Yeah. So, this crab tastes like regular Indonesian crab. You can taste the flavor this morning, the, the hotness on our tongue. Try it. I just want some. It tastes a little bit different to me now. Yeah. Mm. It does. Oh, this tastes so good. The coconut milk base. I see what you mean about the noodles. Al dente. I'm about to try some tofu. That's nice. We comparing it to the, the flavors to um, Thai food because that's what we experience in Canada. We haven't had anything like this from like a Chinese place in Canada. But that's the closest thing we can compare it to. Even though we know it's a Chinese dish. Chopsticks are in my eye. Mm? <laughs> I, so, so your chopsticks are in my eye. So overall, big thumbs up. Definitely recommend y'all coming here. A hundred percent. We'll leave the um, the name down in the description box. Yeah, the name and uh, the location. Yeah, so you could add it to your list of places to, to come when you come here. For these noodles, it isn't as uh, oily as a regular pad thai, mm. and I don't really taste that tamarind taste because mm. it isn't pad thai. We just Associated with pad thai because that's how that's it looks. That's what we had, yeah, too. Yeah, so it's different from pad thai, but that's the closest thing we can compare it to for people who on the west side mm -hmm. who's trying to figure out like kind of what it tastes like. Try this fish ball. I had one too. The fish ball. It did absorb the flavor of the soup, mm -hmm. it was like... The fish ball tastes pretty good. The taste is pretty concentrated, so it's nice and strong. Flavorful. Red so we have the um, coffee ice. Um, it's pretty dark, with a foam on top. So let's see how it tastes. They use a lot of like crushed up ice here, I find. unexpected it tastes like instant coffee mixed with it tastes a little chocolatey like milo in it mm. oh yeah it is like instant coffee with milo sit down yeah. Tastes strong though. Yeah, there's a strong, rich coffee taste. Mhm. Mm it's good. And though. Really have good. a little chocolate into it, right? Mhm. Mm that could just be the, the the type of coffee. Cause sometimes coffee get up like a a chocolatey taste to it. Mhm. Mm and then I get a few hints of like a bitter taste. Uh huh. I don't know if it is mixed properly or that's just like out of coffee. The bitterness of the coffee, yeah. Out of coffee taste, but uh -huh. it's good. This nice actually give us energy. Nice and refreshing. Yeah. So Darian finishing the um, curry soup noodle. Noodle. We already finished out of this, and then we'll drain this coffee and probably walk around to see if anything else in the area.